just wanna ask, is it okay for me to speak in Tagalog? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> what is economy? Because like, what are the product ng economy? Because I heard that you have AI, you have like Manara. I heard it's a powerful, powerful tool. Sa sa malaking business din sa whole industry na forex is yung nagbibigay ng signal. Mm -hmm. And naisip ko na siguro ito yung source. <laughs> and do you have like upcoming bot? Yeah. So uh, we have Echo coming out, and Echo is also an AI software that automatically trades for you. The current softwares and the bots that we currently have right now, you do need a minimum of a thousand US dollars in capital. Oh. We always want to make it clear to people also. Uh, people are always, ah, economy, uh, san ko ibigay yung pera ko? They always ask, where do I give my money? Yeah. We never take anybody's yeah. money. We don't for touch investment. anybody's money. We don't money. touch anybody's We're money. We're in 81 right. countries and we don't touch anyone's money and we never will. Parang I saw a video that Manny Pacquiao was wearing economy shirts. Yes, so, economy. Ano anong meron doon? May uh, something ba? Coming soon pa yan. Ito si Marvin, no? Gusto niya na exclusive, ah. What's up mga kabit? Kamusta kayo guys? Nako, sobrang exciting ng topic natin ngayon, no? Kasi ito yung umiingay na company, no? Sa pagdating sa trading, no? Ang pangalan ng company nila is Economy. And dahil sa mga tanong ninyo, mga traders sa TikTok, sa YouTube, even yung mga mga kumpanya pa na, alam mo yung mga company na nagte-trade -te -te at nagpapatrade at may mga robot. So ako mismo, in-invite ko na yung CEO no ng company ng Economy. And yung naka-experience na rin ng economy, in-invite ko na rin at the same time, yung partner at assistant ni Manny Pacquiao. Nandito rin si David, si Hassan, at si Edsel. Ayan. So guys, ang unang tanong, ayoko nang patagalin, no? We have here David and Hassan. I just wanna ask, is it okay for me to speak in Tagalog? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. By the way guys, David can speak uh, Tagalog well. Saan ka ba? Ba't ba't ang galing mo mag-Tagalog, bro? So, uh, I was born in the US. Mm -hmm. uh, when came to the Philippines when I was four years old. Uh -huh. uh, yung parents were missionaries in Jensen. So, oh, nice. so, of course, Bisaya King Dako. Uh, Kabalo din mga Ilunggo. And then, Tagalog din. So, this Grabe. completo na. Yan. So, pag, ano, hindi na ako mabinta dito sa Pilipinas. Nice. <laughs> Amerikano ako, pure American, pero Amerikanong pusong Pinoy. Yeah. Oh, okay, buti na lang, no? Pa, hindi kami mahihirapan ni no. Edsel. <laughs> so, I wanna ask naman, Hassan, what is economy? Kasi, maraming traders, no? Nagtatanong na bakit effective to? Umiingay siya, eh, no? Sa Manila, naririnig ko, sa Mindanao, and lagi ko nakikita, uy, panali yung trades ko sa economy. So, what, what, what's economy, brother? The best way to put it is in trading, whether you're trading Forex, stocks, cryptocurrency, the reason why a lot of people fail on a retail level, people who are just everyday average people, mm -hmm. is because they don't have the right mentors and teachers and technology. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to bring not just you know one really good trader in the Forex space, I want to bring the best trader in the stock space, the cryptocurrency space. Mm -hmm. And once we had those educators and those teachers for you to learn with, I also wanted us to put together AI technology to remove the emotion out of the analysis yeah. because trading is very emotional, 90% is emotions. Mm -hmm. And so the whole purpose was to disrupt the industry and give you AI yeah. to help you remove the probability of loss and increase the probability of winning. Okay, that's good. So parang you're helping people, especially kasi if with AI, wala nang emotion eh. Yes. Right? Yeah. Kumbaga na-eliminate yun. But like me, I experienced na rin na gumagamit ng bot, ng mga AI. But sometimes, these bots nag-fail pag may mga big movements or, you know, unexpected news or what. Paano natin na, na ano yun? na eliminate or yung safety natin safety ng mga investors of course they want to try that because number one yung time some people doesn't have time to learn yung technical analysis Absolutely. they just want to okay I'll just use the bot I'll just put my money on it but the problem is how safe it yung, yung ating ano it's an incredible question yeah. and it also the answer is what separates us from everyone else mm -hmm. 
Uh, the way I run the company and the way that we structured the model is that it's not just, hey, you're going to buy and lease the bot and it's going to just make you money and you do nothing. Mm -hmm. If that was how it works, then everybody would be doing it, right? Yeah. Uh, that's the dream, to make money doing nothing. Yes. But there is a way to do it the right way. Here's what I mean. If you look at a hedge fund, mm -hmm. a hedge fund, they have had AI mm -hmm. trading for years, 10 years by now. But they have the, the traders, and then they have analysts, financial analysts, and then they have fund managers. Mm -hmm. And we treat it the exact same way. So any automation tool that we do have and that members are able to purchase depending what country they live in, we not only give you the access to our AI technology that trades for you, mm -hmm. we have a trading desk who are also watching the markets alongside the software. Mm -hmm. to ensure the probability of making sure that no accidents happen. Okay. Right? Okay. Where if you went to anywhere else retail, 99% of places on the internet, they sell you a bot, buy it one time or only paying crypto. Uh -huh. It might work for a month, it might work for two, mm -hmm. and then boom, you lose all your money and capital. It's because yeah. there's nobody helping you with making sure that there's um, insight on the technology. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So for us, it's ongoing all the time. It's just we brought it now to the retail world. All right. So parang it's ano pala, like monitored algorithmic yes. uh, system. Now, ano ano ba products? Like what are the products ng economy? Because I I heard that uh, you have AI, you have like a like a manara. I heard. Yes. I, I ano eh, parang What's that, Brother Edsel? Manara, right? Yeah, Manara. Yung una kong nagamit. Eh. Mm -hmm. So, may auto-charting and nagbibigay din sila ng mga signal din. Ah, okay, okay. So, you have the bot. I mean, you have the AI and you also have the platformer and you can uh, get signals. Yes. Is that correct, Brother? Yes. I think, oh. especially <clears throat> in the Philippines, it's been kind of like a fan favorite, yung Manara. Mm -hmm. It's because a lot of traders that already have experience, they don't have to spend so much time mm -hmm. analyzing the market and then finding good setups. Yeah. Uh, you have an AI software doing it for you. At the same time, for new beginners, nice. uh, they're able to get signals from the Manara uh, okay. software as well, the AI software. So I know Hassan is an expert in the Manara uh, technology and you can explain. Yeah, we have a, first of all, we have an incredible team. Nice. Um, we have an incredible team on the trading technology side. Uh, but like David said, the biggest thing is with automated trading, you want it to be a little safer because mm -hmm. it's automated. You want it to be a little more conservative. And even yeah. in trading, conservative is, is big. Yes. That means you're winning big uh -huh. because conservative every month, they're going to make a lot of money over time. Um, now with manual trading, with manual trading, you have the ability to go in the market, mm -hmm. as you know, and make way more money in manual trading than you do with automated trading because yes. you have the ability to be a little riskier. Does that make sense? Yes. And so with Monada, it gives, like you mentioned, the ability to where you can automate the technical analysis. You mentioned it earlier. Mm -hmm. Not everybody wants to learn. So what if there was a way where you can use your strategy? And you allow AI to do it for you and you just go and see if the AI, you double confirm it if it was correct or not. And yeah. so it's a powerful, powerful tool. How, how it works, like you, Edsel, uh, I'm sure you used Manara before, right? Yeah. So how it works ba? And so actually, uh, nakita ko na si Economy uh, October. And yun yung isa sa reason bakit ako nag-sign up. Actually, uh, hindi, pa, hindi talaga ako interesado doon mag-join dito. Uh, yung pangalan ko pa nga doon sa pag-register ko is Edse Flores. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Parang dami name. And uh -huh. nilagay ko na email, din nag-purchase ako. Parang gusto ko lang subukan yung manara na. No? Mm -hmm. Parang may pumasok lang sa isip ko kasi parang isa sa malaking business din sa whole industry ng, ano, ng Forex is yung uh, nagbibigay ng signal. Mm -hmm. And naisip ko na siguro ito yung source. <laughs> Dito sila kumukuha lahat. <laughs> Tapos parang uh, ni, uh, kinokopya kopya lang, ganyan-ganyan. Mm -hmm. So kaya sabi ko, gusto kong masubukan personally kung, kung ano ba talaga, uh, mataas ba talaga yung win rate. Kasi yun nga yung laging nakikita sa, oh. sa post, laging panalo, laging panalo. And sinubukan ko naman, ang maganda is hindi ko na iisa-isahin pa. Like for example, napakagandang indicator na ginagamit ng mga manual trader. 
yung harmonic patterns. Yes. yes. Uh, so ako, ang maganda doon sa Manara na application is, hindi ko na bubuksan isa-isa yung mga pairs. Uh, GBP USD, Euro GBP. Okay. Uh, automatic, si AI na yung mag-i-scan. So, ikiklik ko na lang yun. For example, sinabi, Euro GBP, uh, complete na. Uh-oh. So, pag-click ko nun, may nabuo ng harmonic pattern. Naglagay na rin siya ng entry at kung saan yung stop loss, which is yung pinakamahalaga. Nice, nice. And take profit. Gives you everything. So, nice. So, yun yung maganda. Uh, Kung baga, medyo mas pinadali yung trabaho ko. At the same time, mm-hmm. sa iba't iba class ng trader, ako na medyo busy. Ang ginawa ko is sa uh, higher time frame. Okay. So, 30 minutes, 1 hour. For me, ano naman, uh, uh, may mga loss, pero lamang pa rin yung panalo. At ang uh-huh. kagandahan is, mas uh, yung risk-reward ratio niya malaki. Mm-hmm. So, kahit na parang dalawang talo, dalawang panalo, in profit lamang pa rin. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, tapos ginawa ko, kung talaga maganda pa talaga, uh, pina-access ko dun sa kapatid ko, pina-try ko yung smaller time frame, like 5 minutes, 15 minutes, kung mm-hmm. talagang, ano. and panalo pa rin naman. Nice. Uh, yun yung okay. experience ko. Like it's, right. it's nice also because you can change the, ano, yung like your brother, mahilig sa 5 minutes, 15 yeah. minutes. Scalper. So, just oh, depends on your Yung iba strategy. na gusto nila, ano, yung daily yeah. or weekly oh. may ano charge for them also and then yung mga tao they can pick which pairs mm-hmm. or if they you like you know BTC or Ethereum they can nice. there's those pairs are on there as well yeah. BTC USD so it's it's very ano ba very friendly to traders because they get it's in their pocket they get to use it however they like it so okay so so paano ko siya naintindihan how i understand it better um let's say i'm a newbie i don't know how to trade so i can just input what strategy i want or let what, what time frame right Because based on what you mentioned i-input mo like sabi niya kanina harmonic patterns or there's a lot of like patterns there's uh, bat butterfly yeah. gartley and so on and so forth you can select it and you can also choose kung anong time frame yung gusto mo let's say you're a scalper yeah. you're a day trader so we are talking about manual guys ah. So like ako, I know how to read yung technical analysis, but it will help me. Kung baga yung time ko, di ba? Save pag, time. Pag is, I will save time kasi hindi ko na i-analyze pa because it's giving me this harmonic yes. pattern na. Right? And then I'll just enter yung take profit, entry, stop loss. Okay, so check tayo. We have uh, help sa mga manual traders. That's Manara, right? And then we also have the bot, the AI, which is conservative. Doon sa mga businessman na wala kayong time, no? Mag-trade, pwede nyo gamitin yan. And do you have like uh, upcoming uh, bots or upcoming uh, yeah. products? Yeah, so uh, we have Echo coming out. And Echo is also an AI software that automatically trades for you. Mm-hmm. The current softwares and the bots that we currently have right now you do need a minimum of a thousand us dollars in capital oh. you need a minimum to start and the reason why is because when the strategy goes in drawdown it want we want to make sure you don't blow your account yes. because brokers will pull you out right yeah but even in that case uh trading in general again you have you need more capital sometimes mm-hmm. but the beautiful thing and the powerful thing about echo is we wanted to bring a product out where we could give automated trading to people who didn't have a lot of money. Oh, right? so, so how low can... $100. $100 they can start using Echo. Yes, and the reason why is Echo, every trade that is executed, it has a take profit and stop loss comes right out. So oh, with nice. Achilles and Athena, the ones we have right now, which are amazing, uh-huh. they don't have those when they enter the market. The, the AI is scanning behind the scenes, doing something called trailing stop loss and trailing take profit. Where with Echo, you can start with 100, 200, 300. Mm-hmm. Now, all the people that are between 100 and $900 okay. can also nice. uh, leverage automated trading. Oh, yun na maganda. Kasi hindi naman lahat, guys, no, afford to put ano, $1,000. But the good thing is, yung Echo, you can put $100 kaya mm-hmm. kaya. Up to May maximum, there's a maximum. Can no, there's no, there's no, you know, you can put as much, whatever depends on your broker. Def, 100%. That's good. Yeah. That's good. When when will it be out? Two weeks. Two weeks. Uh, we just submitted it to the. It's gonna be on the Apple Store and the Google Play Store. Okay. So um, we just submitted it and we're just doing a few more tests. But yeah, we're rolling okay. it out. We're very excited about it. Very exciting, guys. No, pero eto ha. Okay, mag 
magano tayo due diligence tayo kasi yes. of course uh, yung mga nanonood people are watching they will search about economy or what kasi ako nung nakita ko yung economy syempre nag-research din ako ng konti and uh, I saw some para mga article about uh, ano yun? city CFTC CFTC ayan sorry sorry CFTC and nakita ko na merong ano doon na parang hindi na register yata sa US can you can you na fine pa siya eh. yeah. ah, na fine yeah. okay okay what happened I had to pay a $75,000 fine mm-hmm. um, but I'm so thankful that it happened <clears throat> so right now if you look at the world The last year, we see AI everywhere. Yeah. From ChatGBT, ev- in every industry, AI is disrupting every industry. Uh-huh. But five years ago, it was still very new to the public. And so um, we had released a technology, automated trading in mm-hmm. the US. And because it was AI and it was still very new, mm-hmm. uh, there was this very, what the right word is, um, questionable Uh, line where is AI a human or is it just AI and do you need to be registered with the CFTC to sell a product like this and so I got fined and some of the other executive members of the company because we failed to register Mm -hmm. with the CFTC for selling a product that has automation in it Mm, so it was a it was a blessing it really was Marvin because from that point i was able to bring my current law firm i have right now they're called greenberg trog you uh-huh. can you can google them they're the largest law firm in the u.s number two in the world and they specialize in cftc sec law and uh, for me after that experience i was like you know what i love helping people with trading we uh-huh. love this world of ai but we need to make sure that we're doing it right yeah and yeah. we've been doing it ever since as yeah. amazing as possible so always thing, innovating always uh, innovating that's uh, good being that's good. ahead of the game i think uh-huh. like you talked about earlier yung i know parang para sa atin blessing the sky mm-hmm. sometimes mm-hmm. we've been in business also we've done businesses where we've succeeded and we've done businesses where we fail yeah. and those failures are what helps us get to uh, where we want to be so i i look back i've known hassan since 2015 mm-hmm. and seeing some of those points in his life where oh the the ctfc the cftc hopefully hopefully they don't get it there. hopefully they don't find us for saying it wrong <laughs> <Sorry>. uh, uh. <laughs> but uh things like that you know what i mean is a um, you know, blessing disguise because then moving forward you're very cautious of what you do yeah, you very strategic sure na, from a legal standpoint uh and yeah. so then when you're growing uh you don't come through those problems yeah. again Good thing you guys mentioned kasi uh, of course here in the Philippines you know naman no how it works here so like kunyari example na lang si Binance now naglabas si SEC ng anong uh, para sa regulations so here in the Philippines of course uh, they will watch this people will you know use the product yeah. mm-hmm. so ano ba yung pwede nating gawin or are you guys complying now with the regulations here in the Philippines para sa future when when magumingay na siya okay at nakita na lumaki yung company syempre si SEC papasok diba which is lagi naman nangyayari paano natin maiiwasan kaya yun para tuloy-tuloy lang yung yung paggamit ng mga tao dito we're actually i know we try to stay ahead of the game like we were talking the other day we want to make mm-hmm. sure na before a problem comes up we've already addressed it and so mm-hmm. even from yung's legal standpoint we always want to make sure na everything is registered yeah. everything's compliant because the last thing we want is lumaki yes. na economy dito sa philippines yeah. and then, and then yeah. we have a legal problem so we always want to make it clear to people also uh, people are always ah economy uh san ko ibigay yung pera ko they always ask where i give my money yeah. we never take anybody's yeah. money we don't touch anybody. anybody's we don't money touch we're in 81 money. countries and we don't touch anyone's money and we never will oh guys uh, just to be clear <laughs> this is not an investment company So hindi niya kayo maglalagay ng pera sa kanila. All right? Hindi kayo mag invest sa kanila. Kumbaga, yung service nung nung products nila, yun yung ano, yun yung kukunin niyo. From diba? education, education to AI software to all of that across the board. That's what we provide. Uh, people always ask me this, what's the best, I know, way to explain economy? I think the best way to explain it, it's like Netflix. Mm-hmm. Before uh, when Netflix came along mm-hmm. before they bought mobile yeah. tayong DVD it cost us what <laughs> 750 pesos yeah. in the oh, Philippines yeah. and then Netflix came up with the idea 
and they said bilhin natin yung rights ng lahat ng mga movies mga TV shows let's put it all into one package that is worth millions and millions mm-hmm. of pesos yeah. pero let's give it to individually to people for just makano na bang Netflix here in the Philippines now ako binabayaran ako 600, 500 plus eh. Pero pay 150 ba? Wala na rin akong idea. Basta nag-auto did ako lang sa akin. So that's what economy is also. They got all these great services yeah. that cost millions of pesos for from AI software to the okay. Manara scanner to all this kind of stuff mm-hmm. and then licensed it out and mm. was able to deliver it to people at a very very affordable price okay. especially para dito sa Philippines nice nice so nice. that's the best way to explain it Netflix and economy are kind of like yeah. the same thing so parang, one is movies and one is in the trading space <laughs> yeah. correct so parang guys ang point lang is parang lang kayo nag-subscribe sa Netflix or sa Prime Video or sa Disney Channel na dahil ginagamit nyo nanonood kayo ng mga movies same thing with them they have uh, products na you can use sa pagtitrade By the way, yung mga may gusto siguro para hindi na kayo mahirapan, maglalagay na lang ako ng link dyan sa description. You can just register if you want or check the website at dyan yung link sa description para mas mabilis. Anything to add, brothers, uh, about the about economy? Ah, yeah, I would love to add two more things. We just released an app last month on the Apple and Google Play Store and another one we're rolling out here in a few weeks. I was telling you about it the other day. Yeah. Um, one is called DeFiverse. Uh-huh. So for people who love cryptocurrency, you want to learn about the metaverse, oh. uh, it is right now one of our fastest growing products. And the reason why is the results are just outstanding. Uh-huh. One of the educators, name is Crypto Picasso, he's been trading Bitcoin since 40 yeah. cents. So he's been in for a very long time, and he's just one of them. The other co-creator, Kevin Baquero, he's one of the leading uh, gentlemen in Latin America who mm-hmm. talks on blockchain at every major seminar. And so we partnered with them to put a platform where you can learn what cryptocurrency is, how it works, how to trade it. You can get on live sessions, but also for you to copy their minds. So uh, copy trading, right? We have uh, trade ideas on the application mm-hmm. where it'll say, hey, BTC to USD, sell, scalp. And you can take these trades on the crypto market, on futures, you can take it on the Forex market. It's very yeah, popular. Okay. And uh, the results have been outstanding, out, just outstanding. Oh. And so every, we've now had it for four months in the public. Every month, the amount of users on that platform has doubled okay. every month. And this past month, it actually tripled. So we expect a lot of customers just on that product by the end of 2024 because we're in the second bull run right now. And the next one uh, I would definitely want to add is Solex. It's our app, stands for Solutions for Forex. Mm -hmm. It's also on the Apple Store and Google Play Store. I mean, you guys can go search the Apple Store and Google Play Store right now. Uh We're a real company, right? (laughs) Um, And it's not easy to get something approved on the Apple Store and Google Play Store. Uh, But Solex is Twitter, Telegram, and trading all in one app. So social community, but also uh, trading as well, copy trading for Forex and uh, stock options. Solex. Yeah, so so we're an education and technology company. We're always going to keep innovating. Yeah. Can can we use DeFi verse then? No, no, or yes. not yet. Yeah. Oh, DeFi verse is yes. Four yeah, yeah it's been live. It's, it's something where what we wanted to do as well as a company is make sure that uh, we were always innovating, not just for people that were in mm. the forex space, but people could choose. So you want ibang tao ay nila sa forex eh. Mm-hmm. Uh, gusto nila crypto. Yung ibang yeah. tao ay yeah. nila sa crypto gusto nila forex. And then some people like in the US. Yeah. Especially, they don't like forex or crypto. Gusto mm-hmm. nila stocks. So we want to make sure we have a company like Netflix yeah. that lahat ng kony na lahat ng movies, TV yeah. shows, and it's delivered at a affordable price. And okay. and and the only thing I would add to that is he's 100% correct. But there's other people who have tried copying what we do, mm-hmm. and the reason why we are at an elite level is because we didn't just partner up with you know random traders and people who care more about clout and they never had the results um for the crypto side we partner up with the best of the best Mm. the stock side we partner up with the best of the best forex we went and got experts and brought them into the company Mm. and so it's been this beautiful vision and alignment to to always focus on the customer actually getting results because if a customer is not winning from a trading standpoint yeah what's the point of the company (laughs) you know (laughs) That's that's good, no? Because how, how can they, you know? Because there's a subscription for using it 
like what Hassan mentioned, kung hindi effective, if, if it's not effective, you're not gonna subscribe the next month, right? Kasi parang Netflix to, napag-usapan natin, merong monthly subscription para gamitin yon. But of course, barya yan kung effective yung, yung, ano, yung, yung platform, right? Yung product. Kung hindi siya effective, ay, ibig sabihin, hindi na nila ulitin. So, walang ang point yung pinag-uusapan namin dito. So, the good thing is, effective siya. Yeah. No? Mm-hmm. So, may experts from the verse mm-hmm. That's crypto, meron silang Solex, meron silang Manara, meron silang AI, and then may Echo pa na pupunta. No? Yun, yun ang maganda dito, yes, bro. bro. Baga complete na. If you're a trader or, or if you wanna earn from this industry, Forex, crypto, stocks, andito na lahat, guys, dun sa economy. One thing That's I wanna add enough. also, we were talking about this the other day, is mm-hmm. something we wanna add on the platform, hindi lang sa trading, pero... After people diversify their income, say someone has a job right now, we encourage people don't quit your job. Yeah, Continue don't. working. Yeah, we don't encourage you. <laughs> yeah. This is another yeah. source of income. Build multiple <laughs> sources of income because yeah. we know, just like the pandemic, we mm. never know what's going to happen. So many millions of Filipinos mm-hmm. lost their jobs during pandemic. Yes. And wala na wala talaga. So what are you going to do next time? when something like that happens or you get mm-hmm. so it's good to diversify your income continue your job mm-hmm. pero diversify your income into trading but not just that once you do make money in trading what to do next mm-hmm. and we want to make sure we're going to put something on the platform yeah. where we teach financial literacy because we know that even if you have OFW sometimes right? yeah. working abroad for 15-20 years but when you get out sometimes you know what I mean so, yeah. and it hurts if you know OFWs mm-hmm. I'm sure we all know of W's that have sacrificed so much for the Philippines, mm-hmm. for their families. And then sometimes, yung pag nila, you know what I mean? Yes. Wala na wala, they weren't able to diversify. So we try to encourage people. And start, that ganun, na? Oh, that start diverse. I was, we were in Dubai. Sama ni oh. Senator Mani and Imam Jinky. And I remember, like, jet oh. ski kami. And there was a Filipino bisaya pa. Uh-huh. <laughs> Nagano nag jet ski. And then, kausap ko, he's been there for 20 years. And oh. then his, his son, Right before when he left, his son was born, and he had to be in Dubai to be able to work there to provide schooling for his son. Mm-hmm. And now, uwiit na siya after magraduate na yung son niya. He's never been back since then. Okay. And it, it's it, I cried. Oh. Uh, Bisaya pa siya taga Mindanao, pero it's just knowing that there's so many OFWs that sacrifice their whole life for their kids, for mm-hmm. their family, and then sometimes pag uwiit nila. Yes. You know, there, there's wala pa rin. So it, we're trying to teach people OFWs or people that work here yeah. throughout the world. Work your job, work hard, pero learn to diversify your yes. income. Actually, ang, ang ano kasi sa mga OFW, sobrang active nila sa paghahanap din ng mga part-time. Yeah. But ang problem, minsan, may mga napapasukan sila na, alam mo yun, may mga na-scam sila yeah. or yung company, hindi maganda. Yun ang nakaka nakakainis no naghahanap sila pero minsan nada- nadadala na sila na parang ayaw na nila or what no maganda na makahanap sila talaga ng ng okay na company by the way si David na nag disclaimer kanina kaya guys pagpapasok kayo dito make sure na ang ipapasok na lang yung extra money niyo wag savings wag emergency money yung extra money niyo lang and good thing you mentioned na nag jetski kayo nila Manny Pacquiao Parang I saw a video that Manny Pacquiao was wearing economy shirt. Yes, so, ano ka nung meron doon? May uh, something ba? Coming soon pa yun. Ah! Carmen, no? Gusto niya na exclusive. Sorry, 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 sorry. Nakita ko lang. Nakita. Coming soon. Kami, oh. Okay. 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 Exciting, ha? Okay. 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 Added okay. credibility yun. Ha? May yeah. insight si Marvin, ha? May nakita yeah. ko na. <laughs> Coming soon. Nakakatawa, no? So, number one, guys. Um, tingnan nyo maigi. Okay, silipin nyo, at least yung mga members na or yung mga nakakagamit na ng economy, may mga tanong dito na, alam nyo, hindi nyo na itatanong mismo kay Hassan, at least na-answer na rito sa podcast natin. At the same time, mga gustong mag-try, pwede nyo subukan, but again, trade at your own risk or wag kayo maglalagay ng hindi nyo afford to lose. And kung gusto nyo i-check, again, provide ko na lang yung link dyan sa baba para ma-check nyo yung company. And anything you wanna add pa, Edsel? Ito ah. kasi si Edsel, guys, siya talaga, <laughs> nagagamit na niya. He's yes, been using uh, this. Ayun, counting sharing lang. Uh, November ko pa siya last year nakita. Uh, tapos, uh, na-curious ako dahil nga na, uh, medyo umiingay nga dito sa Pilipinas. And December, so, sinimulan ko na personal use. 
So, yan, ginamit ko yung Manara, saka na-curious din ako dun sa, nagagamit ko na yung isang AI ng economy. Uh, recommend ko din sa inyo yun. Paano ba i-pronounce yun? Achilles ba yun? Oh, Achilles. Ayun, so napaka-potential niya. Uh, three weeks ng running sa, sa akin. At ang maganda, kahit sa broker, uh, pwede nyong i oh. Ano, potential sa prop firm. Kasi sa isang buwan, nasa, sa three weeks pa lang, nasa 2%. Eh. 2%. Pero ang drawdown lang, nasa 1%. Means, uh, 1% o oh, below 1%. Yeah, nice. eh. oh. So, ang maganda doon, sa settings din nung ano, uh, pag-connect doon sa AI, yung iba na p- hindi nyo gagamitin sa AI, pwede nyong i-adjust yung risk. Kagaya nung isang kaibigan ko, ginawa niya times 500. So, ibig sabihin, so times 5. So, kung ang profit ko is 1%, sa kanya 5%. Okay. So, okay lang yan kasi hindi naman niya gagamitin sa prop firm. So, ayan. Isa rin sa reason bakit medyo magaan yung... Bakit ko din siya inad bukod sa marami matutulungan is uh, marami kasing napakaingat saka nabiktima na rin ako uh, long years siguro. 6, 7, 8 years ago ng mga kung ano-anong uh, sistema. <laughs> <laughs> yung medyo bakit magaan yung loob ko dito, kasi nga, hindi tayo magpapasok ng investment ng pera sa kanila. So, gagamit lang tayo ng products nila. Yung capital natin, doon sa mga trusted broker natin, i-deposit. Yo, like si Marvin, true. ako, magkaiba kami ng, ng, ano, ng broker o forex broker na pinag-tradean. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, nagagamit namin talaga yung products. So, ang maganda, yan nga, hindi ako magpipray every night na baka na sana wag tumakbo yung company <laughs> kasi dala yung pera ng buong yeah. grupo. <laughs> di ba? So, hindi naman yung may-ari o yung ang ano eh, ang hahabuli ng mga nag-invest or nung ano eh, yung kung sino yung nag-repair, di ba? Uh-oh. Which is, uh, kahit na anong ganda ng intention mo, pag nagka-gletche-letche na yan, ako, sakit sa ulo po yeah. talaga. Kaya, yun po yung medyo ano, uh, maganda yung products, more on sa products lang po tayo. That's good, guys. Speaking of broker, ha? I'm using XM. Okay, XM. Uh, yung wala pang XM, pwede nyo gamitin yun to use yung mga economy products. Again, andyan din yung link sa baba ng XM. Pwede kayo mag-register dyan. Do you have any partnership with XM? Sino pa ba meron sa XM? Sinong celebrity or... Si, yung... si Manny Pacquiao, ah, syempre. <laughs> oh, Manny Pacquiao yan, XM. Ah. Even si brother. Ano pa relationship mo kay Manny Pacquiao? Uh, What are you? Yeah, what say, you know, know, a personal, personal assistant. Personal assistant, Imani. Yes. Imani, boss. Basta ka naman. Baka naman dito sa podcast air natin. Kahit gloves lang. Ah, meron pa, meron pala. Nagbigay na pala si XM ng gloves na may firma dyan. But anyway, ayun. Pwede nyo gamitin yung mga broker nyo. Okay? Or pwede rin XM. Kasi iba rin yung ginagamit ni, ni Edsel na broker. Ako naman Last ang tanong. O, oh, sige. Go. <laughs> I'll ask you a question. Next. Okay. So I'm going to ask Hassan, why the Philippines? Because, of course, marami naman, ano, uh, we, we're in 81 countries right now, but yeah. I've seen it personally. The CEO of this company has spent a lot of time here in the Philippines. So my question, why the Philippines? Why Philippines? <laughs> Very good question. <laughs> it's, a, it's a question that touches my heart, honestly, and I know you know this more than anything. I came to the Philippines, it's got to be five or six years ago for the first time. Mm-hmm. And when I came, I remember I landed in Cebu and, you know, I, I grew up very poor. My family grew up very poor and I'm very grateful for the experience. Um, but when I came to the Philippines, I remember we landed in Cebu and I was seeing so many people who didn't have a lot, but they were so grateful and happy. They didn't have a bad attitude. They just seemed like they were living the fullest life they could live because they didn't let money define them. Does that, does that make sense? Yeah. And, and that's how my parents raised me i'm palestinian Mm -hmm. my parents migrated from palestine due to war they came from a similar country similar poverty and so when i saw that and every filipino i would meet every single person i would meet next person next person i just felt like it was a moral obligation to just share the blessing that god put in my life because you know if, if you guys know about my life excellent if you don't you can look me up online but i had a very tough life And everything that's happened to me is nothing short of a miracle. Like God has blessed me. And so I feel like it's a responsibility not to convince anyone to get involved in trading, but just to share, Mm -hmm. right? Share the information. Here's what trading is. Here's how I can use it. Here's what AI is. Here's what billionaires are doing. 
you have the decision yeah. if you want to access it and use this information and, and create leverage in your life. But for me, the Philippines is it's in my heart. And uh, I want to help 1 million families in the Philippines get involved in training. I mean, there, how many, there's 114 million people in the Philippines. Yeah. If we can just, it's not even 1%. We can help 1 million families. Man, you can change a lot of lives. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. It's a good, no, no, no. Yeah. Very nice. So you're kind I can of relate. like American Posong Pinoy. Yes, <laughs> Pinoy. Hey, by the way, uh, he was just in Jen Sandin and uh, shout out to one of the best restaurants in General Santos. What is it? Alfonso's. Alfonso's. Yeah. Alfonso's. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. There, man. Huh? You should take yeah, us there. You have to. to Jensen, we'll Alfonso's Cafe. Alfonso's Cafe. Alfonso's Cafe. One of the best. Amazing. And the yeah. second other? Nadi's. Nadi's. Nadi's Chicken House. Native chicken, noodles, yeah. uh, 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 Actually, I have to. I have to switch. I'm sorry. Nadi's is one. Sorry. Nadi's is first. Alfonso is second. I'm sorry. Nadi's is. Oh my God! Amazing, amazing. <laughs> so I still have one more question because uh, even when I travel with okay, San Mani, when we go different places, one thing I enjoy the most is learning from people. Mm -hmm. uh, when we went to China right before the pandemic, yeah. with Jack Ma spending three days with oh. him learning so much well, knowledge no, and stuff from him was just like wow yeah, <laughs> just <laughs> i love just sitting there you know absorbing oh. uh, i've learned a lot from my dad my dad's a pastor his faith okay. you know what i mean his love for god his love for the people philippine people but i love learning from different people being around hassan the ceo but uh, i know in your space uh marvin you're very influential have a lot of experience uh, have been very successful and so i want to ask you a question also oh, wow. ah, <laughs> but sa mga ano viewers natin ngayon para ako na uh what's some good advice you could give to people like from your heart like mm -hmm. totoo lang like everything you've been through the ups and downs what is probably the number one advice you could give to the filipino people ako kasi guys no yung character ko kasi lagi everyday grateful ako so kung ano man yung meron ako ngayon, hindi ko tina tinitingnan yung ibang tao bakit sila mas, mas successful sa akin or bakit yung iba mas mababa. So more on, ano yung blessing ko ngayon? No? And yun ang reason, like si Hassan, bakit gusto ko mag-share na mag-share? Kasi kung totoo siya, hindi, I don't, hindi ko naman kailangan gawin mag-podcast mag eh, because I have businesses naman. But yung way na pag-tiktok, pag pag-youtube, eh, parang nakakapag-share ako kung paano nga kami naging successful. Kaya medyo nung kanina nagsasalita si Hassan, parang I can relate, no? Because it's parang heart ng share, nag nagsishare. Yeah. Just wanna share to yeah. makatulong sa ibang tao na sila rin mag-improve. So, parang yun lang, yung, yun lang yung goal ko. Be grateful and at the same time ko nagiging successful ka na sa buhay, ishare mo yan. Kasi malungkot na kami lang yung yung successful sa taas tapos nakikita namin na yung iba na hirapan sa yung family nila even yung kaninang sinasabi ni David na na-observe niya dun sa OFW na nakita niya parang ang um, mabigat yun sa amin and maganda na yung knowledge namin na okay kumikita kami dito sa mga bagay na to na share namin sa tao so yun lang naman yung pinaka goal ko bakit ko to ginagawa eh thank you Marvin uh, no problem I brother na, no, so thank you guys next time yeah. on I did. yeah if I, if, <laughs> yeah if I if I could add one more thing I just want to say that it's an honor to be on your show today I appreciate you asking and um and being here and, and just being open to listen the other day we met Marvin for the first time at the Shangri-La in BGC and uh usually when I come to the Philippines and we go to meetings everybody wants to take photos with me Mm -hmm. And uh, but when Marvin came, everyone would take a photo with Marvin. Yeah, yeah. they're like Marvin's here. Uh, but 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 seriously, um, you know the reason that is, and why I want to bring that up is because you inspire a lot of people, right? You inspired, and you're currently inspiring new people. Thank and you know when pandemic started, and hearing your story of of just wanting to share with others online about trading you inspired a lot of people and all of them some of them don't even know you on a personal level yeah we're sharing a great experience about something they learned from you so i just want to give that back to you because that's a, that's a very powerful thing yeah thank you brother yeah. i appreciate it super <sighs> sarap sa feeling <laughs> yun naman eh kaya kaya continuous ako dito sa ginagawa ko and then di ako napapato no because of that experience na every time there's like one person na sinabi niya na 
Oh, Sir Marvin, I learned uh, crypto from you. Parang for me, Sarap wow. Oh, Sir yeah. Felix, Papa mm-hmm. Peter, said, Sir Marvin, I I'm watching your videos. So, thank you brother for Absolutely. Appreci- uh, appreciating it and of course, be- thank you so much guys for taking the time to go here and uh, alam mo yung clear sa sa tao about economy paano nila ma- magagamit yan and yun nga i really pray na maging successful to thank you makabot yung mga tao no na makagamit and lahat tayo magamot na yung mga mga nasusunog or yeah. ano parang sama-sama na tayo sa isang company na lahat kumikita sabay-sabay at nababago yung mga buhay so thank you so much david Hassan and Edsel for this uh, for your time guys god bless thank you thank you brother thank you guys sa pananood god bless